Hey guys, Mike from Missouri here. So the problem we need to solve for today is on the lift cylinders. The quick attach that we had to line bore, um, he ended up having oversized pins. So well, this is, I believe, 70 to 85 thousandths over, I don't remember. But that causes a problem here in the end of this cylinder. And this is the tilt cylinder for the bucket. And that, you know, now obviously it's not going to go through the bushing anymore. But also in that if I make a new bushing with a bigger inside diameter, the bushing is going to be so thin, it's likely not going to hold up to the abuse that a skid loader would put on it. So I need to get this cleaned up in the parts washer. I need to press these bushings out. And then we need to set this up on the mill and get the the ID of the end of this cylinder increased so that we can make new bushings that have a larger outside diameter, which will retain the thickness of the bushing so it won't um, you know, come out over time or deform. So let's get this uh, cleaned up in the parts washer. Okay, I'm over here in my parts washer and I just remembered my gloves for this are torn and I'm all out of latex gloves. So I'm gonna try to do this without getting this on me. Alright, I'm over here on my homemade press. I'm going to set this cylinder up to press these bushings out here. Got this piece of round stock that's just slightly smaller than the outside of the bushings. Got a beggar. Bring in closer here. Got them out. All right, I'm over here on the bench. I just measured this bushing that we pressed out. It measured 1.252. So two thousandths over one inch and a quarter. We get a measurement on the bore. See what the fit here is, and I don't think this may not be big enough. Actually, it might actually be big enough to do this. Just barely. Do this a couple times. All right, so the bore measures one inch, 251. 
so just under one. So we got about a one and a half thousandths press fit between the bushing and the housing here. The ID of this should be very close to one. Our new pin OD, I believe, is about 70 over or 85 over. Okay, so our pin is 86 thousandths over what it was originally intended to be. This is right around one inch. This is one inch, 86 thousandths. I'd like to increase the hot size of this cylinder end by about that much so we maintain the thickness, the wall thickness of our bushing here. So let's get this set up on the mill and we'll bore this out. Okay, I'm over here set up in the mill, and what I've done, make sure that you're not boring this at an angle. I raised this up and adjusted it with some shims, and I'm dial indicating down the, the side of the bore, and I'll show you. I've got the indicator set at about zero, and when we run the quill up and down, Going down, it stays at zero. That tells me that I got the angle of the cylinder on the bed correct. Because if I had it tilted, the indicator would change significantly as I pass down the bore with the indicator. All right, I'm set up here in the middle with the boring head in. And I just manually centered this, I kept bringing the bit out until it touched all sides equally. It's pretty close. Close enough for what I'm doing here. So I am going to set the mill to where I'm ready to cut. Bring the table, the knee up here. Lock everything down, except for the knee. Get you guys adjusted so you can see. And I'm going to take the first cut here. Looks to be pretty even all the way around. I went pretty quick on that because it's just a rough cut. I need to take about 80 thousandths off here. So I'm going to adjust the boring head out. And I'm going to take off. That's 20 thousandths right there. I think 10 per side. I'll make another cut. All 
Okay, guys, I got a couple of passes here off camera. I measured it as 1.336. So I'll probably bring that out another thousandths with the home. Uh, at 1.337 or 38, we'll see kind of where it wants to finish up when I can get a better measurement outside. And that will be our new bushing outside diameter. So I will then make the bushings and hopefully we can get some heat treating done. Hey guys, well thanks for watching that. I got those cylinders finished and uh, I put out a whole video on the heat treating that I talked about. The next video is going to be on this uh, loader boom. I have some welding to do on some cracks where the uh, center support goes across. So stay tuned for that. I'll get that out soon. Thanks for watching.